Hey, the Chinese government has just introduced a new filter on TikTok that's going to be really good for all of us, especially our girls. You're going to love this. Uh, Remarkable. This is a new f- filter that you can put on all of your TikToks, and it is making, you know, beautiful women and average looking women and a few <laughs> not so good looking women mm-hmm. look like models. They all look like incredible. Like in real time. Yeah. Even on mobile. And these filters, which are have a basis in a computational model of facial beauty, uh, will alter your face in real time. Not look a little bit better. We all have seen filters, right? Like it's, yeah. man, it blurs a little bit and it makes you look a little, your skin a little bit more smooth or whatever. And it's, this changes you completely into right. an incredibly good looking person of your version of yourself. And it's not just like a makeup effect. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it, it actually alters your face mm-hmm. into it takes what you have, but then alters it in such a way to where it beautifies you. Yeah, I retweeted this at Studios America if you want to see some of the back and forth because he, and and it, the commentary in some ways is as valuable as the picture because the picture will will make your jaw drop when you see what these people really look like. But then also every one of them has this reaction of like, oh my gosh, I look so beautiful. And then they show their real face and they say, oh gosh, I've never felt more ugly. What is this going to do to people? Oh, it is. It's terrifying. It is terrifying because, and you know, I have to tell you, the first thought was, how do I get one of these for our cameras? (laughs) But that was really more about you than me. Right. You know, I know what I'm inflicting on you. If you happen to be watching, there's a reason I'm on radio. You know, uh, no and, kidding. Uh, shut up. And because uh, you're there, too. No kidding. <laughs> if you're watching on the blaze, I don't know if you can take it from behind me and, and show what's on the screen. But this this woman, she is pretty. She just looks like she got up in the morning. Right. She doesn't have any makeup on, but she looks pretty. And look at that. Now she's a an absolute model. And she is. <laughs> She's one of them that's like, this is, they're all saying the same thing. This is bad for society. Yeah. There's a, at that, I, I, my initial two reactions were the same as yours, which is, oh my gosh, this is terrible for society. How do I get this on my, on every camera I've ever used? Like, I mean, people are not going to, the market is going to push this through. It's too good. It's too good. Everyone's going to want to look like this. I mean, especially when you but, have an entire but, society based around turning people into broadcasters, right? Like you're right, taking, what, when you, when you, for instance, I'm let's say I would use this and then I'd be out in public and they'd be like, Oh my, he's a dog face boy. What are you? What happened? You know what I mean? You know what, Glenn, what does that even matter? What does he being out in public even matter anymore to have these people? There is no out in public. There's just this camera. There's just the social media. But then think of the Think how hollow this is. Mm-hmm. Let's say you become famous because you're so beautiful, but you're only beautiful in the virtual world and you get all kinds of attention and all kinds of love and blah, blah, blah. And you're so hot. And then you go out in the real world and you're the dog face boy. Mm -hmm. You're not going to want to be out in public anymore. Right. There is no, and then you go out in public, right there. That's just terrifying. It ends. (laughs) I, and it's just going to screw with people. Think of think of the teenage girls. We've been talking about this for a while. Oh, I know. Who already have all sorts of problems with social media and what where it's doing the, to their brains. Can I just say, where are the women's groups? Do you oh remember when you yeah. used to complain because... Oh, Glamour Magazine is right. photoshopping. Oh, are they? Look That's at this. That's a real problem compared where to this. Where are those people? Yeah. I mean, I, I have to tell you, I would not... I, I, I started my dad years thinking I would have loved to be a child in this era. Cause you got everything, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Anything you want, you have access to. And now as I have teenagers and I see the pain they're in all the time, you go to school and the girl, my God, girls are so vicious to each other. You think, you know, I'm I'm so sick in here of of hearing about boys and you know how bad boys are and men are. Girls are vicious. They are 
absolutely vicious with one another. Um, but my daughter comes home. My son comes home. I can't imagine all of the pressures that my sisters had, you know, Vogue magazine or uh, what was the one you just said? Uh, Glamour, Glamour, Cosmo. Okay. Cosmo. Those, yeah. They had those that, you know, I can't live up to that. Right. This? How is your daughter or your son? Does it do it to men? It does, yeah. The, and uh, I haven't, the transitions don't seem as dramatic with guys, I guess. Uh, they're, of course they're, not. Yeah. It just maybe puts us in pants instead of like cargo shorts. <laughs> Wait a minute. You just have my shirt just is no longer has wrinkles. Why is that such a <laughs> We can't do any more than that. That's it. Like, it's that we we're not scientists here. And but isn't that weird that it is that it's mainly for uh women? That they don't really have it for guys. Women are already so freaked out about their looks. Guys are like Oh, I've got, oh, yeah, it's just a piece of baloney. It's been in, stuck in my beard for a week. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah. You know, the guys just, just don't. Just remove spinach from your teeth. That's right. Like the That's only all thing it does. That's <laughs> all it does. But uh, the, guy, the guy who's talking about this uh, on Twitter says that the effect seems to do different things to different people. On men in general, it's very subtle. Not so subtle on women. Much harsher and unrealistic expectations. But even on men, it's not just makeup. It makes structural changes to the face um, like you know, and you just look at this and you're saying, you know, we, as we deal with this, this think of now even the real people have turned into the AI models, right? You're not even seeing people anymore. Like, think of every advertisement, think of every account that you follow. Like, these people are all going to start using this think stuff. Think of this when they used to say they airbrush. Oh yeah, they airbrush her hips to be a little bit. No, no, that's that. This is so far beyond that. And it's being done in real time to your daughters. And the Get off yeah. TikTok. Wait, but it, it just because it comes from the directly from the Chinese Communist Party, you think I should just remove it from my phone? Well, why, why wouldn't I carry it around with me everywhere with every piece of monitoring technology that the Chinese government could ever beg for? Why I isn't would, that a better option? I would love to see if TikTok is doing this to their own people. I highly doubt it. Lots of times they aren't. I mean, they, they, oh, they, yeah. no, their I, algorithms often um, will promote, hey, here's some um, some incredible, th like an accomplishment, a female Chinese scientist. Yes. Like, for example, releasing a plague on the, on the, on the world. Uh, <laughs> it, it, they'll promote... <laughs> These incredible. We like to call her Bat Lady. <laughs> Bat Lady. Okay. Here's Bat Lady. She's. The, you remember coronavirus? That was her. That was her. Um, she changed the world. <laughs> she, she sure did. Look how many millions of capitalists she destroyed. Uh, yeah, they, but they will like pr these incredible achievements by Chinese citizens. They'll promote you? those in the TikTok algorithm there, and then for us, internal to America, we get people who have uh, tragedies who have been. Uh, you know, who are, are developing uh, Tourette's syndrome out of yeah. nowhere. We, uh, you know, all of these you just get Tide all of the Pods. Yeah, you get all of the... Stu you get Idiots. the dumbest of the dumb. Dumb, which uh, just, victimhood, tragedy. Right. That's what gets promoted there. Uh, and, to and, our they th and, and people think that we're not really in a war with China. They think that... I mean, even my own family. I, my wife has TikTok. My wife, I bet your uh, wife has oh, TikTok. Good God, of course she does. Yeah. I mean, half the TikTok. reason I'm saying this is to her. Right. <laughs> hoping and, she's listening. And it's like, okay, we, you, guys, we, we got to stop with TikTok. Got to, got to stop with TikTok. It's, it's really bad. Yeah, I know. I know. It's gathering information on everybody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's gathering information on everybody. And, and if I would have said, hey, by the way, the Nazis... The Nazis are back in Germany. Hitler's actually alive. And they have this device where they're gathering all the information <laughs> on you. You might say, that's a bad idea. I'm not going to help them. And I will also mention that their genocide killed far fewer people than the one in China. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a good, kind of a bad, bad idea. And, you know, look, I think uh, this is... A debate that uh, that will go on till the end of time. I mean, these these, but this is such a, a egregious one. Like, look, Mark Zuckerberg's really annoying. 
You know, Mark, I don't think I don't want to give my information to Mark Zuckerberg either. I don't want to give it to Google either. I don't want to give it to Apple either. But like when it's actually owned by the Chinese Communist Party, is there no line? I mean, seriously, this party is literally responsible for more deaths than the Nazis. They currently have millions of people in prison camps and are basically at war with us. They just floated a freaking balloon over our country to spy on us. And we're like, I think they get the access to everything I've ever done and my location at all times and all my photos and all the words I've typed and then deleted and everything. They should have access to that. They seem like nice people. I don't know. Sounds like there's a flaw in the logic somewhere. Somewhere. When you have when you have TikTok, correct me if I'm wrong, they monitor everything. So if you do your banking online, that's all being sent to the Chinese Communist government. They know they know your banking, your banking code, your PIN code. They've got it all. I mean, there's certainly they deny they have that. Of course they do. Uh, but uh, there have been many, you know, security security experts and agencies that have come out and said no, they are doing I mean, they have access to basically everything. everything, even what you deleted. So I'm typing, you know what, you SOB, I'm really, I better not do that. Delete, 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 delete. Hey, Mike, I was really disappointed <laughs> in our conversation. Right. You know what I mean? They have the first draft. They have everything. But and again, uh, like people, are, a lot of people are like, "Well, I, didn't, I don't care. I, I never do anything that I would have a uh, problem with, you know, the Chinese being public or, or having the yeah, Chinese you know have access. So I don't do anything." And I get that. A lot of people haven't, for example. Mm -hmm. um, I, I doubt that's true. You know, one of the things we talked about before is this I, this theory of cloud burst, the cloud burst uh, apocalypse, which is we put everything up in the cloud, and it all sits up there. What if at some point AI, for example, Hacks all of it at once and releases all of it. Everything you've ever typed on, on a, a private message, on your computer, uh, uh, every photo you've ever put anywhere. What if all of that for everyone comes out on the same day in a searchable fashion? Theoretically possible in the future. I mean, and like, yes, that might you might think, well, I never did anything. First of all, I doubt it. If you if everything you've ever typed got out there, you're telling me you would have friendships that blew up at the very least. Not to mention your you know your financial future. But forget that for a second. You are helping fund this effort, which is targeting people all around the world that did do something that might run afoul of the Chinese government. You're helping fund it. You're giving them money. You're funding the operation when they go and take down some dissident in a, a helpless person in some other country. All right. Uh, by You're the doing way, all that. Uh, that's on TikTok, and you'll be able to find the rest of this monologue on TikTok later on this <laughs> afternoon.